taking off into space. I want to be there. Uh, they could take advantage of intelligence theory and wire up their circuitry in a way that make their Einstein plus, 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 right? So they could be incredibly smart. They would, they would be like gods to us, you know, human beings with our puny little brains. There are two things that are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. The human species is one that has a brain that's already too big. And now we have in the computer something that extends the power of that brain almost limitlessly. The machines are not the problem. It's the monkeys behind the machines that need to be addressed. We're all stupid. We don't, we don't think very well. We can't remember more than about seven numbers in a row before our, our brain gives up. Uh, we have very bad short-term memories. We can't think of long chains of reasoning without forgetting where we started. Uh, that's all design defects as far as I'm concerned. So is that an enhancement to improve that or is it repairing a defect? It doesn't really matter. We should be using technology to make ourselves better. I am convinced that these technologists at MIT, uh, in, in all their fancy laboratories up there, and artificial intelligence, are correct when they say that the question in another 50 years will be whether the machines want to keep us around as pets or not. Who is to say that for whatever reason, Sometime in the future, those artifacts may decide, you know, those human beings, you know, the pests, right? they are so inferior to us, they get in the way, they're eating up our resources that we need, whatever, you know, taking up our atoms that we need to go bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, I don't worry, well I do worry, but I'm not overly concerned about the possibility that they will race ahead of us and, if we're lucky, treat us as pets. I think more likely what's going to happen is that we will become increasingly integrated functionally with our technology, with our computers, with our robots, and rather than it being a them and us situation where they're the ruling class and we're the poor serfs underneath, I think we'll be much more integrated. Well that is the most tricky question. Are we going to retain the monkey meat? Are we going to hang on to the body and through the body have a connection to the rest of animal nature? Or are we going to become disembodied streams of electrons moving in virtual realities that are contained entirely in circuitry? I think this will probably go both ways. There will be fundamentalists who want nothing to do with technological transformation, and there will be utopians who won't be able to get enough of it. This is probably the moral frontier where we each personally must make a stand. How much of the new technology and its reality redefining qualities do we want to take into our own lives? We will have cyborg bodies, we will have augmented bodies, we will automorph ourselves into whatever vehicle keeps us in existence for the longest period of time with the most pleasure, the least pain, and the, and the, and the most ease, the most elegance. Everything that you need, everything, spiritually, emotionally, financially, the post-biological folks will say, you know, like, well, you people have a, a primitive atavistic attachment to the species. Let it go. Let it go. Come with us. We're the bold ones, okay? We'll move on to the, you know, that's really scary stuff to me. Really scary. A great number of people who I refer to as biological fundamentalists have a great fear of moving outside their biology, moving into other bodies, other forms for transport. These people have a lot of, of commitment, a lot of mythology, a lot of tradition and history attached to their bodies, our sacred bodies, the house of our soul. I mean, I can imagine myself being a, you know, a, a moderately modified uh, cyborg. I mean, uh, you know, I'd be nice to have my arteries cleaned out and I'd like to have better memory capacity and I'd like to be able to learn Chinese in two seconds just by going, right? That would be great. But... Uh, that to me is small beer. That, that's nothing in comparison to what these godlike. Uh, that's, that's, I deliberately use that word, godlike. Artelix could be. Well, it's a philosophical issue as to whether 
uh, this is still human, uh, in my mind it's definitely going beyond biology. But I don't define human as just biological. I mean, we're already taking steps beyond biology. There's not a single organ in the human body, including regions of the brain, where we're not already creating substitutes or extensions or augmentations. Uh, so if somebody has a, an artificial pancreas, is, are they not human? If they have a neural implant in their brain, are they not human? How about two neural implants? Or maybe you, you can have up to 10, then you're human, but 11, you're not human anymore. If, if you have these nanobots, blood cell size robots in the brain that are actually have computers interacting with your biological neurons, is that still a human? Well, one nanobot's probably okay. How about 500 million nanobots? I don't know how people are going to stop this, although my hope is that when we effectively destroy half of human life on earth through one technological mistake or another or a combination of them the diseases that we are allowing to come out uh, now or the poisons that we create or, or, or the global warming one or another of these things destroy half the population on earth the other half will say whoa we've gone too far what do we do now humanity will become extinct but in the sense of a pseudo extinction in that it is clear that if we are going to be altering our own biology and transforming ourselves that we are going to change and we're going to change in in enormous ways in very unforeseen ways and that means that homo sapiens as we know it now will cease to exist but that's that's got to be a form of madness it's got to be a form of techno blindness to want the end of the human species to, to transform it into a mechanical species. It's a kind of species side, you know, the, the, the destruction of a species against a kind of, I use the word, deus side, a god killing. You know, if, if, if you choose not to build these artifacts, in a sense you're, an, you're removing the possibility of creating gods. It's, it's a, a kind of potential death of God. If you like. Now, which is worse? This is this is uh, 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 suicide. This is echo side. I think it has begun to sink in, and there are many that would say, "Stop! We've got to draw a line there." But it can't be stopped because this is a whole broad uh, front that is moving forward. If it, it's genetics is one aspect of it, computers are another aspect of it, uh, communications are another aspect of it. Everything is changing about, li about life, and it's changing increasingly rapidly. Should we stop it? Should, should, should we sort of say, okay, AIQ, artificial intelligence quotient, at this level, we're going to legislate, perhaps even globally. That's the cutoff point. No robot, no artificial intelligence, no intellect, if you like, is allowed by law, by human law, to go beyond that. Do you think that's going to happen? <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's going to happen at all.